Easy peasy. <laughs> Pull this back up. I don't like this piece. thousand platinum, bunch of gems, bunch of jewelry, you know, bunch of magic items that we don't need. Makes life easier. Because you can always sell that stuff off and make some money. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who pays the bill. south, it takes us into the, um, uh, the wealthy quarter, and we don't want to start there, because I actually want to save here. Verify we have all our spot memorized. Uh, let me see what we have here. A bunch of magic missiles, thinking about this. Prayer, blast, and so on, that's fine. One sleep, bunch of magic missiles, and a fireball, so I feel much sure. Nox, I'll cast that out, yes. Um, Sticky ground. More useful. Alright, so if we have a map. We can navigate this relatively easily. So, we only need to clear a couple of fights. Now, that's not going to be easy fights, but we only have to clear a few. Like this one here. There will be one way into this room. That shouldn't be too bad. And then we have. A couple of fights in this building. Okay, these are not bad at all. Uh, cast. We can cast a sleep out this room. What a beat up. Honestly, what a beat more than enough. There's not that many here. The only reason to use sleep, really, is just to minimize their movements. So that we don't have as many active attackers, which speeds up the fight. That's really all, only reason. Now this building, once we've cleared this room out, share that. Exit. All right. I'm gonna search. Oh come on! This should be something else. Show. Okay, I guess not. Okay. Um, three. So, 
don't care about the mushrooms. Uh, take. Share. <laughs> so, looks like that it looks good. Take. Next room should be a cloud room. Those are some pretty big cards. <laughs> I like more as a um to turn to anything else. Oh, I think this fight is actually easier. And so the fights we're fighting in the slums. To be honest. I got a couple of orcs. Not exactly. Um, a hard fight here. It wasn't exactly a hard fight. Find a piece of parchment, that's good. Now, from here. Oopsie. Bunch of goblins. Well, that's gonna be problematic. You move this way. I get one of three of them. Ah! Uh, what's wrong, Rishifo? We didn't fail. We didn't, we didn't lose anything bad. We just have a couple of goblins running around. And I swear this fight is actually easier than... Um... A lot of the ones we had in the slums. Which is rather sad. These fights are so easy by comparison. The random encounters and the slums are way more difficult. Which is kind of scary. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just need to heal up a little bit. And then we can go. Uh, concert off. Through this room. Then we come back over here to where we can camp. Magic cast. Nothing wrong here. Honestly, it's, uh, it's really not that complicated. The Temple of Bane um, really is a, a much easier area. Like the, um, the mansion we just cleared was like stupid easy because it was all like level 1 thieves. This is the same way. It's a bunch of like level 1 and 1 and, half, and like it's uh, half hit dice and 1 hit dice monsters. A bunch of them. So it's like, really... And it's not even like that many. I mean, the slums were harder. 
by all definition. Because we have one more room we have to clear. These guys aren't, there's not that many of them. And any of our guys can kill these guys in basically one attack. So it's really not like, even our mages can kill them in one attack. It's really not that big of a deal. So it's kind of sad. Um, I left that hard. I guess I had the wrong way. too much damage, so it should be okay. There you go. Good to go. Now, the hard one's going to be the Temple of Bane. That's going to be, like, the hard one. Oh, that's right. I need to get one more item before we go to the Temple of Bane. to make sure we get a holy symbol. Whatever that, whatever they are. I think it's either a cloth or a leather one. So, no. Sure. overloaded. <sighs> no. Apparently, I think some overloaded. Oh, yeah. No, I'll save that fight. It's fine. I'll save that fight for later. Because we need to get a holy symbol. Uh, boat. And in order to do that, we're going to have to clean off. So, best thing to do is to go down to the item shop. Yes, pool. Two. I think it's an armor class of 
four. So that is clearly inferior. Yeah. or anything so that's good uh, so that so that so that old shield plus one identify yes please let's not only get rid of a bunch of items we don't need but it'll also um, identify some items we do need right now. Yep. No, how do we identify it? Alright, well, that wasn't worth it. Okay. Cursed necklace. Yeah, get rid of that. Of healing, that's fine. Those are good for a pinch. Manual of body and health. I can see like one constitution. Sure. Get rid of that. And sell the tapestry. So we're picking up. Cool. Take. It's a lot of platinum. However, I don't think anyone's ready for levels. Uh, if I was at 15,000. Uh, he needs... The fighter is level 4, he has 15,000. He needs 13,000. He can level up. Actually, does everybody have 200, 200 points? They do. Everyone has 200 platinum. So the best thing for us to do is to pull, take your single class, take your double class, take your single class, take your single class, take your single class, take your double class, Share the rest. And we'll just go see if we can level anybody up real quick. If not, what we'll do is we'll go to the um, gem dealer and buy some more of those um, train gets to reduce our weight. I don't think anybody actually can level up. But it doesn't hurt to um, double check. Ah, see? New cleric. That'll help. That's that. That fifth level cleric will help out a lot. Get our, check our fighter. I think so. And then, yes, train, train, and train, nope, so only one level, well, I guess it's better than nothing, uh, I was carrying a bunch of stuff, 
between the gold and the potions and I mean, even he's got a high encumbrance and he doesn't have that much going on. And the arrows and darts do add the encumbrance. But honestly, we're really not that bad. Animate dead, remove curse, prayer. Nothing really that's useful. Honestly. The incredible scrolls really aren't that useful anyway. It's true, they're not. Um, okay. They have their uses, but they really don't, they're not really that useful. Because there's so few clerical spells inside of, um, this game that are actually worth it. Now, granted, don't get me wrong. Crap. No. Later on, they're actually useful. Like, later on, I don't even think it's in the next game. Um, You can, um, what is it? You can take the spiritual hammers and throw them as a weapon. As a throwing weapon. Which, in the um, tabletop, actually is a mechanic, but they didn't use it for whatever reason in this one. They also, they have javelins and spears and stuff. But they just for reason didn't use that one. Um considering what we have, uh so magic's probably more useful. No. Memorize. I only need one bless and I only need one um prayer. So give me a dispel magic and a cure disease. Why? Because that might be useful. I don't memorize anything useful now. No. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna sleep back. Yes, memorize. Excellent. Right. Now. Honestly? We need one random encounter. Oh, we can use that right there. It's a group of four orcs whose shields bear a black hand and a red field. Uh, okay, advance. Advance. Uh, combat. Because we kind of need you, dude. We need your leather symbols. And that'll make us happy. There we go. Alright, uh, now take items. Items. What is up with this? Pool. Exit. Pool. I mean, holy symbols aren't exactly heavy. Take. Items. Leather symbols. I 
don't get why we can't take the leather symbols. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, me want dragon bait. Dragon bait. Dragon bait's not tonight. We're not going after the dragon yet. I want to fetch the Temple of Bane first. why we can't take the um I don't know cool. take items take I don't get why I can't take the holy symbols There's no reason we should shouldn't be able to take them. I don't know. This game has been acting really weird. Oh look! A real fight. It's fine. Have some sleep spells, so it'll be okay. Cast sleep. Did I get one of those four. Cast sleep. You know, one could ask, you know, why would I do that? But I, you know. Go after you know, these guys with sleep, even though um, we have a big fight coming up. Well, it's because I have a couple firewalls, to be honest. I'm not really worried about it because I have fireballs. And it's easy enough to manipulate the map uh, in the first couple of rounds to tweak for them. Now, the temple. Make sure we're healed. <coughs> we're gonna want that. Cause we're definitely gonna want it. Oh my goodness! Using all my heals. to the temple and we have two ways to do this first I'm going to open uh, take two clericals and a magic scroll so you take a magic scroll actually view items Rate that to Red Mage. Take my pedicles. Now the second location. 
And this is gonna, I thought I knew it was gonna take long to do this because I knew these fights would be relatively easy. It's over here behind the wall. Somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. Open. And then share. Take. Let's see here. Wand of wand, some dust. Wood's always symbol? Now, the last one is what's in the center of the room here. Right here. So we want to cast our prayer and our bless. Because once we loot this one, we should be attacked. Oh, look at all these wonderful little toys. And there's a fight. Now, this is a huge fight. I'll live here. To all the way down here. However, always one of our mages. And this will just clear right out. The trick is getting to the mage before we die. That's the trick. There are so many cast, so many boat archers and whatnot. And since they got the jump on us, we have to just survive. We got, we got, we got one fireball here. And this one's gonna take out the majority of their trips. We got a couple of sneaking clouds we can cast. We have one. Uh, give me a stinking cloud. Yeah, it's right there. That'll free those guys up a little bit. And fireball should come up any time now. There we go. So we want to get the most number of people we can. Which is probably there. And that should take out the majority of the offers. I wish I had some more, um, sleep spells, but fireballs tend to do enough damage to terrorize the troops, especially when they take out a dozen guys at once. I mean, it's a, it's a very effective strategy. Um, we can't do a squat, so... There we know we can't be defended. The trick is getting ourselves encased in... Um, stink bombs. Or hold spells or something. Damn! Damn, 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 damn! Couldn't get that first. need 
silence. Two characters down, that's just it's the sleep spells. Being down two sleep spells, being down my sleep spells did not help. Then screwing up the um. Hold, not, getting, not holding the mage first. That was a big mistake, too. That was a huge mistake. Thirteen hit points. Big tricks are gonna be getting those um, archers out of the way. There's a couple in the back that I have to worry about. We might be okay though. I just kind of suck because we have two guys that are down. But if we lose one more guy, we're just going to have to wipe and reset. Because I don't think we're going to be able to clear up. Let's guarantee his death. That will give us the damn it. It's half the party. Uh, bandage. Stinks are running out. And our hit points are running low. We have cat, uh, archers. That can still tag us. That's it. Not having 15 sleep spells is the definitely the, definitely a problem. And the big one was not taking out the 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 uh, cleric with a hold to show them. And the cleric magic user is just. Tank and all this mess. Look at this. Look at this. Look at her tank. Her luck won't hold though. There's no way that her luck can hold out for that many. She doesn't have the armor class. She's got eight attacking her in melee range, and she's got six attacking by bow. Statistically, it's not in her favor. Toja. 
Alright, so that was just me underestimating the fight. Alright, hold on. Reload from that last save. Some of the like, downside to this game is it doesn't drop you to a load screen. It drops you to, um, uh, the command line. Which normally, in the old days, would have been like, oh, okay, just up arrow once, enter, and restart. But, um, in here, we have to just kind of, like, do this again. So, in camp. Uh, magic cast. Get rid of that. Yes. Magic. Uh, cast. No, you're good. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. 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 Cast. 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 Yes. Cast. Yes. <laughs> Memorize. Sleep spells. Memorize. Nothing. Memorize. Sleep. And fireball. Not fireball. Sticking cloud. Memorize. Sleep spells. And... Sticking cloud. This should take care of our issues. Now we can get there without being waylaid. And I just realized why we couldn't pick up the pendants. It's because we already have them. We already picked up a pair. Come on, boys. Thank you. There we go. Nice and easy. damage. Shoot, and that did not help. Okay, there we go. Damn, guys! And these hits aren't hard, but there's just so many of them. There we go. And since every one of them does do some damage every single round. So let's see, we have to worry about our health. Here we go. Alright, now we're good to go. 
Uh, open. Yes. Take. Take, take, take. What is that? Open. Yes. Take the wand. The Let's take all that. Exit. Cast. Okay, we have two ones left. One on you. One more on you. Oh, I don't have a wand window. So, in camp, save B, no. Cast, bless. Cast, prayer. Let me search. Yes. I like to open the first time. Great, there goes our bless and our prayer. people. Those ogre sprites are great. Yeah, I know. I mean, all the sprites in this game are really, really good. The sprites are all fantastic in this game. You know they only have like the small block to use? Because you figure it's like um What? It's something small. So you figure it's like, um... No, it's going to move. Because most of those are going to get blown up by the fireball. No? What? No. That is not happening. I will reset. Uh, sorry. Not happening. I have one fireball. And them getting a lucky shot off on that, it's just, no. It's, hard, it's one of those fights, it's hard enough as it is. It really, it's hard enough as it is, and it's fine. What's up, TJ? Oh no. I need to attack on him. I need to the fireball person. Oh my goodness. Cast. Um, use. Oh, no, wait. Um, use. 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 Cast. Break that spell. Is 
thank God for a Now, getting him ways down there is going to be a trick. But it's fine. The big trick is just being able to fireball the bulk of these guys. I'm not really worried about um, uh, their leader. Why haven't I gotten to my other, my ca other caster? His speed should be higher. Oh my goodness, this fight's RNG. You're gonna piss me off tonight. I haven't even gotten to my other caster. It's like they just ignore her. Oh, come on. Honestly, it's probably the most important spell I could probably cast right now. That probably gets you the most number of archers. You know, misses their main dude. And that's the big trick, is getting the most number of the archers out of the way. I have sticking clouds, I have sleep spells. And I have, um, both persons that I can use for all the remaining orcs. And trust me, it'll make it easier. Way easier. Way, 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 way easier. Cast. Sleep. for me. I was gonna kill my last mate, I can salvage this.
besides Arn, she is miserable. <sighs> there goes his casting again. need three fireballs to be honest. And honestly I can get them when I level up anyway. not gonna sleep. Just need to free up as many of these lives as I can. Because if I can free up So nobody's dead. I can't do anything about maze. Let's see if we can do something about these guys that are surrounding us. So this is one archer. don't know how, but we stand a chance of actually winning this, even though the RNG has just been against me from the beginning. The 
Hello, yes. Cast. Okay. Um, I guess not. No. Guess you gotta level up. Do you find journal entry number 25? Now, if there is a god, we're done. And I believe we're good to go now. But I'm not taking that weird risk. <sighs> Magic. Memorize. All right, so as the weird world has it, we just cleared the Temple of Bay with one guy standing. Oh my goodness. That's just crazy. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I mean, it was successful. But that bad RNG, man. It's horrible. Like I said, though, we made it somehow. Don't ask me how we survived. I mean, I'll take it, but damn. Oh, I do need to do one thing, though. The, um, let me scroll. I do need to give read magic down to bell. Sure. Let's just screw that up. This game though is you think it gets easier after a while, but sometimes the, it just throws you these stupid RNG curveballs that are just epic. Just absolutely epic. And it's like, where did that come from? Okay, magic. Inventory. Ready. Use. So remember I said I didn't care about that. I said second fireball? Yeah, that's why. Because I knew that um, we were going to have fireballs. I didn't sure enough. That was another one. So, that's useful. Um, right. So, uh, magic. 
magic. Memorize. I care like weapons. Magic. Cast. Get one of those. Uh, get one of those. Memorize. Make detect and plus. Memorize your good. Memorize. Um, I'm trying to think. I think we're done with. Oh, we're done with everything in the blocks. So we should be good for those two blocks. And that'll be good for some experience. So. And considering how many times it took me to do that and just beat it once. We're not gonna. We're just gonna take it and go and. Um, take our experience. Let's see. You've cleared the area next to the Temple of Evil. Here's your reward. There's the Holy District. Or the Wealthy District. Um, Thieves and Hobo Mansion's been cleared. Let's try that out. Uh, found the Temple of Bane. Here's your reward. I must bring to your attention the following. The graveyard. Okay. You're authorized to give an enhanced weapon if you accept the mission uh, up to the end of the graveyard minutes. You said, yes, I'll take your weapon. A two handed sword plus three versus undead. Now that's actually up his alley, believe it or not. It really is up his alley. Alright, so it goes to the papers. I can offer the following Nomads, Cobalts. Find the source of the river's pollution and end it. Uh, you halt presence of us. Leave now. Do you leave? Yes. I did not mean to do that. Oh, we go to the priest. He's over here. You un un right. I'm about to journey to the temple. Here you go with me. Sure, let's take her to the temple. So we've already cleared the temple. But this is the quest. The quest is to take him to the temple. Okay. And, and because of that... I can't clear the quest until he goes to the temple. But, that's okay. Because all I have to do is take him to the temple, since he cleared it out. And, show him that the temple is clear, and he should. him with me in order to oh, I guess I had to take him with me in order to do that that sucks it's fine if all else fails I'll just throw him off
yo sé. Uh, yes. Fix it. No. Yes, exit. So I don't have this guy, I can't do anything with him. Because I cleared the temple, and he was supposed to be there when you cleared the temple, and it's fine. It's fine. Because all we're going to do is. Before I can offer anything, I need to parents. The clerk suffers through the papers and the matter of the commission. Says I can offer the following. Nomads, cobalts. Right. Yeah, we'll leave. So, yeah. We screwed up the temple. Because we didn't have Jordan with us. It's fun. Don't care. We don't really need the experience, so. Sure, the party. Uh, train. Train. That was awesome. No. Get him a train. Yeah, I know. I just threw him out of the Adventurer's Guild and called it a day. I mean. I know, I'm horrible. I'm absolutely a horrible person. Hey, uh, what do we have? Got yeah, a lot of money here. So, few items. We know this is useless. Now, did anybody level up due to all that pickup? You know what? Take. Uh, buy. One dart. I swear. Ooh. Take. Right now, did anybody level up? That's the trick. Did anybody level up? That way we can spend some of this money. Uh, fighter level 4. Level 5 is 18. He did level up. Cool. Now, she is at 8. At 20, uh, 14. I don't think she's that. So, no, she did make level 5 cleric. Oh, did she? Okay. So, you take 200. Um, take 200. Because you made level 6 because you want to survive. Now, the magic user needs 40,000. The thief, to go to level 7, needs 42. Thief 6 is 20. Magic user is 22. Alright. So I guess it's okay, I'll just level up. Clerics 
goes on. We don't need. So let's go ahead and yes, view items. Uh, view items. Now he's got that military fork, which is one d eight plus three. Now, if gives him a 1d10 plus 2. <sighs> I think the other fork's actually better for non um non undead. So let's do that. I'm gonna have to ID all this crap. Most of it's just gonna get sold. Uh, take gems. Uh, eyes. Gem. Sell, gem, sell. Cool. Few items. This is the long part. I'm trying to figure out what any of this stuff does. Most of it's just plus one garbage. So we don't need, we don't need a lot of it. But you get, because you gain so much equipment, um, you want to make sure you identify it. Mainly because if you don't, get rid of that. this makes. Yep. Okay. Potion of giant strength, save that. Sell this with that. Um, I don't know what these potions are. Yeah, I was afraid of that. That's for disappearance, okay. So speed potion, healing potion, so. These giant strength potions are really useful. Speed potion is really useful. Sell that tapestry. Identify that. Trade that to one of the clerics. And 
we'll get there. Wand of Magic Missiles. That is really, really good because I can help you stop casters. And it's got a good number of charges, so it's not a waste to have running around. I have 3,000 platinum again. Oh, and I have no levels to set it up. Alright. Guess I'll go buy an emerald brooch again. Yes. Cool. Hey, who's got the brooches? Dave? Yeah. Buy emerald brooch. Okay, that brings us down to something we can deal with. We have three emerald brooches. Jeez. Okay. Oh, those are five thousand, four thousand gold each. What have they? More money than you want to do it. Okay. I have a billion magic items. So, where we are now, we are in a position that I'm not sure exactly what I want to do or where I'm going to go. Because we've cleared the slums. Kudos well. Poodle Plaza. Um, the library. Soko Keep. The textile house. The Temple of Bane. The wealthy area. And the mansion. The only place we haven't cleared is the graveyard, and I hate that place. Um, so, the question is, do you want to go outside into the world, or make a run at the Shadow Gate? I think I'm going to make a run at the Shadow Gate. I do, I think I'm going to make a run at the Shadow Gate. Go for broke. Make a run after the big bad boss. With us clearing everything out except for the gate. And our levels are... Mm, gosh, I really want... I'd really like to have one more level 5 caster. But considering I need another 10,000 experience points to get that, I think I'll live without. We can't. Magic. Scrap. Yep, only level 2 and 3 spells. So, we need to get through a couple of blocks here. So, we're going to get through Kudos Well. But I think we'll go the other way. I think we'll go through the textile house. So, we'll go through the library, which is safe. The textile house, which is safe. It says Poodle Plaza is one of those that is not safe like ever. Um, if we go through this door, we can go straight for the gate. The trick here is that once we're into the gate, we're a little more murky. Because, um, it's going to be an interesting way to get through this. The trick's going to be getting through the gate. And I think I know how. 
it's just getting through. Without being seen. Okay. Pearl Eye. Sure. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the wagon. Um, not only that, they're afraid of them adding, makes them real jumpy. Wouldn't give them too much. I'm going to back power you, okay? So, when we see in front of the gate, uh, this is where it gets a little wonky. The main wall raises 30 feet up, and it's on a thousand feet. So, the gate here will, um, Uh, Buckbear said, okay, let's have the 15 gold you pay me. Yeah, okay. That gets him to go away. 15 gold gets through the gate? I'll take that. Um, now we're through the gate. I want you through the gate. I don't know. So we have to clear out in here. Um, we clear out the two towers. That's the big trick. So we have the east tower and the west tower. And we can rest on the towers once we've cleared them. Stop we go. There are two humans and three ants in this room. Let's see what this looks like. And a Medusa. Um, we're s All right, um, a minute. What do we have here? Okay, so it's just a couple of ants. Uh, six level magic user uh, uh, cast stinking cloud. He can't cast as long as he's coughing. Cast stinking cloud. This is anticlimactic. Couple of sticking clouds later, and that was a cake fight. Uh, ring. Take the ring. Uh, no. Still have the ring. So I can sleep in the tower, right? Uh, I believe so. You can also sleep in a tower after defeating an ant. Okay. So I got in camp. Magic memorize. Oh, this is a nasty day for them, let me tell you. Give me a give me that. Give me a prayer. Give me a dispel magic. Give me 
a stinking cloud. Such a nasty day. We're just gonna be evil. Evil, evil, evil. clouds are your best friend. It does not matter what level your target is. Because as long as they have um, the requirement to breathe, they have to stop. They, they can succumb to a stinking cloud. That's the catch to stinking clouds is they can succumb to it. Now, mind you, it's got its limitations. There's, I love how the Thermometer are for you. Oh, crap. Oh my goodness. Cast. Staking Cloud. Target. Cast. A stinking cloud. This is bad. This is not going as well. But, it is a start. You're still awake, and you're still awake. So, God. Um. How about we just make you two sleep? Get rid of the mage. Oh no, he runs! No! Bad! If he's running... No. We can't catch him. We can't catch him. Then we can't kill him. a little scary. Take items. Nothing. Shut that up. Nope, we're good. Alright. So we're actually making progress. That is phenomenal. But at least we can take some progress here. So that takes care of um, I believe Oh crap, that's how to do that. Cast. Yeah, cast. Let's screw that up. Let's get that up. That's okay. So, we need to do some memorization there. 
and I memorize that, memorize that, memorize those, and memorize that. Memorize the stinking clouds. And I'm resting. <laughs> so we've got both towers cleared, and that should take care of this area. Now the bunker patrol area, that's potentially problematic. Um... Not really worried about getting past the gates. And we could use a couple of knock spells, but not really worried about it. Yep, down. So. The next part of the gate is the southwest. And the southwest wall is going to be the truck. So I think we just have to go barrel through the southwest wall. Because we need to get to. Um, one of the maze entrances in order to try and get to the center of the maze and I don't know the most efficient way through actually it's a relatively efficient way okay so today we're actually gonna try try uh, yes. No. Yes. We're going to try and make a beeline for the boss room. It's not going to be a fun one. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got the wrong spells on. Smoke room. Alright, we're gonna camp here. Cast. Magic. Cast. We don't want all of these sleep spells. We do want, um, some sleep spells. But we don't need, uh, 50 sleep spells. We need more magic missiles for certain fights up ahead. So, that's going to be the trick. It's going to be which fights we get into, which ones we can avoid. And make our run. Alright, so. Um, password to the gate, give password. Give password. What password do we give? Password we give is the one I can't remember. What was the flipping password again? Um, oh, oh dear. There, now we're into the garden. Being in the garden, this is a maze that, if you were doing this manually, would be an absolute pest if you had to map it. I've done that map before. And let me tell you, it is not pretty. Overshot. South 
through the gate and then over No, I'm the wrong way. Because I went through the outer gate, I need the inner gate, and the inner gate is a different way. Oops. And let me tell you, getting lost in here is no picnic. No picnic at all. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the tower room. We want these. Because this gives us a place to rest inside the garden. Should have... Um... Can I play with him? Wait, I was just... made searching for a knowledge. When it's catching me, I've been forced to work for him. It's very I will leave and never return. Sure. I'm cool with that. Because I really don't want to have to fight anybody if I don't have to. Because in this area, characters can get downright brutal. And, you know, some of the magic users run into this level, they're going to be like 5th, 6th, 7th level. And when they're that high, we're talking like they're going to cast lightning bolts and fireballs at you. And you've seen what it does to the bad guys we fight. Think about us close space. And one of their guys is casting a fireball at us. Not fun. Uh, yeah, it's over here. Yeah. This puts us into the inner tower. So the team which you're lavishly appointed with hangings, carpets, Furniture on a throne is a powerful looking man clad in barbaric splendor. Oh, look. Uh, what is your business with the Lord of Flan? You're not the Lord of Flan. You are an upstart. But we also know this. Let's parlay. Let's go with abusive. Alright, I'm not, um, thanks for us. He just hired me to impersonate him. It's not a bad life, but hey, I can tell which way the wind blows. So we're high enough level that he decided to bow. So let me go? Sure. I'm not in the mood for it. He runs out of the hall, there is a treasure all about. Do you take it? Yes! Share. I said. Okay, so that's the cash. So we actually are in the wrong room. Because this is the fake room which doesn't want us to go anywhere. That's not good. I went the wrong way! That's fine. We go back to four, then we can, um, rest up a minute, get our spells back, because we use those two spells. Okay, we can 
camp here. <sighs> Memorize those two spells back. Because you want those. I don't want to exit. I want to do this. I want to do next, 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 next. Prayer. Rest out. Save on. No. Ah, right, here we go. Now. In order to get around, we have to go to the other side. So, let's follow the wall around. Oh no. We've been spotted. Giants. That's kind of epic. Can we actually do some real damage to these guys? Guard, move, guard. Hill giants are no joke. They really aren't. Glad I saved in that other room. Because otherwise, we might be in real trouble. Those guys' boulders are nasty enough. But, a few well-placed stinking clouds. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Might just give us the advantage we need. Nope, that's it. That's bad. Advantage. Check here. Let's try and get the coffin. I have enough stinking clouds. Problem is, I think they're resistant. Yeah, they're they're resistant. I think we're gonna make this fight. Now what do I do? I went the wrong way. Because these guys are hill giants and with them being resistant to the stinking clouds, all I have to have got is like fireballs. And that's a long shot. Well, we've got one more stinking cloud here. Yep. Well, that's what? They're running? There's one left and you get away. Yes. 
We reset. Yeah, well, they are the weakest giants, but when you're getting that many of them in a row, and um, you add a range that they're going, they're just chunking rocks at you. It's not fun. Because at that point, I'd have to go all the way back to town. Because there's no way I can go after the, um, the boss. Um. From this position. If we lose somebody. That's the biggest problem. So if we lose anybody, um, we're done for. Password. Parlay. Um, I think it's the same password, isn't it? Um, 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 Southeast Gate. Um... I believe it's the same password. Um, make kind the password R H O D I A. Oh no, R H O D I A. Yes. Oh crap! Wrong password. <sighs> My card password was a different password. Okay, there's only two hill giants though. It's okay. Thankfully, there's only two of them. This is not too bad. Cast, stinking. Cast, cloud. Get rid of him. There we go. There we go. No, we got it. All right. Sure, exit. Yes. Hold on. No. Give password. This one is Rodia. So from this angle, we want this room. Now this room down here, room three, is gonna be a challenge. Because I think this is yeah, it's the giant guards. And these are fire giants. Oh my goodness, fire giants? Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, cast. Let's hope this works. that wasn't going to work. Yeah, stinky. Cast. Uh, cast. 
taste anything good. Fifty-nine hit points. Uh, wow, that's got a lot of hit points. Um, that's not gonna work on him. That's not gonna work on him. That's not gonna work on him. This is gonna get nasty real quick. Remember what I said about, um... This fight's gonna get real nasty real quick. I see what I was talking about. running. I can't go anywhere. Just want to get like, some people here to keep from trying to go anywhere. So, if we use the dart... Maybe we can... Cast... He's got a magic missile left. avoid getting into physical contact with this thing, because I don't have any spells. And I have a magic missile. I need some more damage. There we go. I doing 45 damage this way is, how should we say, not fun? But it is effective because it is doable. It's just a matter of um, having enough ammunition. And that's always the prejudice. Ah, uh, how's it going? What is it? Uh, Slater USA. How you doing? Yeah, good evening. We are giving the last boss um, a go, and the run up to the last boss is a significant challenge. Are we leveled for it? Yes. Do we have the gear for it? Yes. 
Can we survive it? I don't know. The big thing is to be enough spells. Do the right spells. Um, how did you die? Oh, you know, stabbed with five million darts. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, um, this guy when he goes to when he goes to the afterlife and um, has to go to judgment in front of the ogre god of death, saying, "How did you die?" He's like, "I died to a million darts and arrows." Why? Because I was too cowardly to fight six little humans. Uh, fireball doesn't work on um, fire demons. The, the fire giants, I already tried that, and apparently um, they're immune to fire. I think they might be. But, yeah. Apparently they're immune to fire. So, that's definitely a problem. Now, if I had lightning bolt on hand, um, we could have used that against him, but... We've been using Fireball for mass crowd control, so... It's one of those things that, um... We didn't really have any other options. Now the last boss room, when we actually get up to the boss, um, I'm probably going to want Lightning Bolt anyway. Because there's a lot of fire resistances in here, and since the last boss I believe is fire resistant as well, um, the Lightning from the fireball is definitely better. Uh, this dude's gonna end up looking like a porcupine. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, he's really... He is definitely porcupined out. And since he can't leave... Because the direction he tried to run did not have an exit. He can't even outrun my arrows. Which is like the worst part. Because normally they run towards an area that they can get out. And I just let him go. This guy ran into a corner. So... Oh my goodness. How could you even carry that much money? There's no way you can even carry this much money. Look at this. This is enough money to set yourself up as a king. King camp. Yes. Magic, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, you got caught by ads. But yeah, those guys had their own bank. Dude. They must have been robbing every mother. Every little one. Every little pet. Every little dude. They must have been robbing everybody. Magic missiles, please. Next. Next. Stinking clouds, please.
Memorize less detect magic, a couple of cures. Um, go out there and get the prayer, please. Memorize uh, magic missiles. Um, let's take the lightning bolt this time. What? Wait a minute, we should rest in this room. Oh, crap, this is not the one I can rest in. Never mind. We lost somebody. Screwed that up. I forgot. We can't rest in that room. Because that room was completely unnecessary. Okay, back up here. And there was a ton of experience, but we didn't need to kill them. Because they were not no, the ones we needed to worry about. So, back to the beginning. Careful. Uh, parlay make this one is um. What was the stupid password for this one? It is... Um... H-A-R-A-S-A <sighs> Tarash Michael Now, this one we give the password and it's Oh, yeah. So, the trick here is we need to get to the, um, the door. And the door is there. So how do we get to the door from here? We go there. There. Okay, so from here, we go forward, take the lesser, like you're going to the fire giant room, but take the first right up, take this to the end, follow it around, grab the inside track. Don't go that way. This way. And then up here. Pull up back. Go to the end. Go down through this door. Go to the end of the trail. Up. Go straight. Do not take the left. Alright. And this takes us into the next room. Now this room should have nothing in it. Go uh, back and see the map. To the illusionary wall. Now in this floor Um, it 
is now I want to do. Do I go through here? No. Thank you. Now, when we go up the stairs here, yes, I go up the stairs. This is already dealt with the false king. He's going to do with this here. Now, in the upper level area too is a trap door room. That's actually a Medusa. So we'll avoid that. Area three is the waiting room. Which is going to have so we go up to the second in command or we can go after the boss himself. So, this is the boss room, that's the junior boss room. Let's go with the boss room, and we're gonna go for broke. And we're gonna see what happens. So here comes the dragon. Come back! I should have, um, mm. these guys are eighth level fighters. Oh, my goodness! Can we touch them? I don't know. Cast. Can't. Cast. Um. I can use a sticky cloud. That might work. Yeah, okay, I got two of them. Sleep. Cast. Sticking cloud. All right, I got a couple more sleep. Okay. So is everybody inside here asleep, basically? Pretty much. However, I can do a cast hold person. Damn it. have enough to take on both not in this role anyway uh unfortunately One fighter left. Now we're done. We're done. That's it. Yes, you've been destroyed. Ah. Thing is, I think 
think if we had parlayed with them, we might have been able to avoid, um, avoid that. I do. I think we might be able to avoid that. By just talking. That's the thing. I think if we did that, I think we just we might be able to talk our way out of it. Talking way out of it, it's definitely a, a good idea. Uh, parlay, make, um, this one's password was, um, 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 H-A-R-A-S-H. Alright. This one here, gift password is R H O D I A. Now we just have to go back to the cave, back to the hedge maze. Uh, this one. Yeah. You gotta be careful in the hedge maze because if you go the wrong way, um, you'll hit like. Teleporters, which will teleport you somewhere random. And if you do that, you're done. Because then you don't know where you are. And no matter how much you uh, think you know this place, you're just going to get lost. Once you're inside the castle, it's a relatively easy, um, thing to do. Yes. Uh, parlay. Yep, they just attack us anyway. All right. Um. Cast. Cast. Manual. Uh. Cast. Old person. Cast. Stinking cloud. This is like one of the few fights that having uh, a bunch of old person spells is actually useful. Okay. Cast. Um. Uh, old person. Target, manual, target, manual, target. Because these guys will fall asleep. Done. Bandage. Um, cast. Cast. It's just a matter of. Finding them all and make sure they all go to sleep. Target manual. Target. Uh, 
There we go. They're all dead. Cast. Cast. Cat wounds. It's open. Um. Uh. There he goes. Okay, so use. We have all of these clerical spells. Question is, is there anything on here that's actually useful? Um, stove curse, hold the person, cure blindness. Uh, animate dead, prayer, remove curse, restoration. Damn, yeah, I wish I knew I had that spell. Wait, I have two restoration scrolls? Trade. Else injured? No. Tell her Do you Yes. The guard, the guard, the guard. Use. Use. Cast. Manual. Uh, he doesn't have any spells, not any, any of those. Uh, you're like, yes. Do that use this one. So we're gonna go with that last spell. Where all those restoration spells. Such a pain in my butt. Okay. Could have used those when I was dying, fighting with the uh, white. Um, oh, he only had eight points. Ugh. Um, 
to that. Everything. All right. Take play mail. Ring. Take ring. Uh, take two-handed sword. Take ring. Take ring. Take ring. Take ring. Next. Next, that's it. Okay. So unfortunately, the cleric. Wait, can the cleric use playmail? I don't remember. Uh, 1d10 plus 3? I wonder. Take. Uh, get the playmail. If you can wear it, let's wear it. Like he wears leather armor, that's right. He doesn't have bracers or anything. He has bracers, lower and bracers, like AC4 bracers. I have another character, that'd be good. But apparently, no. Few items. Uh, take. Anything else here? No, I think we're good. No. And here's the dragon. I know. Attack! 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 Alright. First, move. Cast. Fireball. So he only has 80 hit points. Which really isn't bad at all. Scrolls, the other guy does. So cast. Sticking cloud manual. Cast. Uh, we're trying to see if we can nauseate him. Yeah. 
it's it. We're screwed. What? Your magic missiles didn't hit him? Wow. We really are on trouble, aren't we? Yep. I knew this was a tough fight, but I knew it was that tough. we can do but oh my goodness I forgot that the dragon has so much resistance his magic resistance is insane his physical resistance is insane oh my goodness Yeah, I decided to give it a shot, and oh my goodness, that was an epic fail. It was such an epic fail. Oh. I need a new drink. Hold on, let me run back. What are the things that... See, we can get through his... Um, guards by using a lot of hold persons and nausea spells. But getting through him is the trick. We're just not ready for it yet. Or close. But getting through magic. I can't magic. Getting through that is gonna be a tough one. Because we can use like protection from evil to boost our defenses. And we have resist fire, that would be okay. Because yes, you fire damage. But And we do have bestow curse. But he ignores magic missiles. Fire and lightning damage don't do him any don't do any good against him. So I don't think the lightning bolt would do any good either. A uh, fire damage just obviously doesn't do anything. Um Slow might do something? I mean, reduce might, might affect it, but I'm... All the spells I cast on it, he just ignored, just shrugged right off. <sighs> I 
So that's a problem. That is definitely an issue. We're at the right levels to be able to beat him. But considering all of our good magic spells just were ignored by him. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think about how to approach um, the boss. And camp. Magic cast. I think we need two knock spells in order to get out of here. Seems like we're just missing something. That's what it feels like. Is that we're just missing something important. Oh, I did approach him with violence. That's... with lots of violence and lots of magic and he just ignored all the magic. <laughs> and his lightning spell and his lightning breath just uh, how should we say oops was It definitely did not agree with us. So, yeah, no, that's a definite issue. So now we're back to uh, Pluto Plaza. Right? So yeah, I gave it a shot. It is definitely outside of our capabilities. without, um, That's good, but I was 
just remember it being a tough fight. But I didn't remember it being that tough of a fight. That's what I don't remember. Is it being that hard of a fight? Now, granted, don't get me wrong. It is one of the more... It is the, the most challenging fight in the game. But, I was not expecting that. That, that was definitely way above what I was expecting. Um, so let's have a look here. All the little experience points we've picked up along the way. So the fighter is at 23,000. Sixteen thousand on the cleric magic user, which isn't enough. That's not enough. I think he might be maxed. The red mage. Thief. Now, okay, I think we're going to save it here. So we're going to break here for the night, and we'll pick this up next week. Tomorrow, I think we're just still going to continue with um, My Night Chronicles, like we have been. So look forward to that, and I will see you next time. And, and I'm picking it a little early, but it's been kind of a long couple of days, so... Catch everybody next time. Thank you for showing up. Yeah, you know, thank you for hanging out. And if you haven't, you know, followed, please do so. And also remember, if you go over to my YouTube channel, which I'll put up right now, um, for those of you who don't have it, uh, go check out all the any of the backstories or backplays, and have a good night.